Always happy to be back. You know, the streets closed for your movie Sorry premiere about tonight. that. No, that's all right. We're hard... used to it. Yeah, We're used to it. Yeah. yeah. But, but that's exciting, right? Tonight I can apologize for it. Yeah, tonight you can't <laughs> apologize for it because yeah. you are somewhat responsible. It's my fault. That's the big thing. When you have a big movie, you close down Hollywood Boulevard, everyone comes. Who is coming with you tonight? Um, I've got my whole family in the back, my sisters, my mom and dad. Are mom right and there. dad? Or... Oh, there's yeah. Pete and Carol. Yeah. Wow. Hi, mom and dad. The, you know, the famous Peter Vincimiglia that you know well from his Instagram. I remember that. Yeah. Correct me if I have this wrong, but your dad <laughs> on Instagram, when you were nominated for an Emmy, was it the first, first time? Year. Yeah. What did he What did he put on Instagram? Well, it was National French Fry Day. <laughs> right. And so he talked about National French Fry Day. Then he caught hell about posting about National French Fry Day. And not your Emmy nomination. It came a little later. It came later, yeah. And priorities, <laughs> French fries, I get it. I'm his son, I understand these he, things. He's had a relationship <laughs> with French fries probably for longer than with you even, right? Yeah. It yeah. starts very young. So anyway, because of that, uh -huh. we went and looked at his Instagram. Did you know he posted something uh, tonight on Instagram? He did. He did, yeah. Let's take a look at, uh, at what Dad posted tonight. <laughs> now look at the words here at the bottom, it says, it's from our dressing room. First leg of a long night tonight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dad's excited. <laughs> Dad's already ready to go home. <laughs> but the best part is, he walks in the dressing room. We're all getting settled. I'm going to, you know, to, like, get everybody, you know, bottle of water. And he just goes, where's the snacks? <laughs> yeah. You got a thumbs up, though, on the little crew detail. Oh, good. So, you yeah. like the snacks? Very yeah. good. Well, yeah. now, will they come to the Emmys with you? Yes, it's actually the first year. So the first time I got nominated, I said, hey, guys, I'd love you to come to the Emmys with me. And uh, my mom was like, no, 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 I, I don't want to be in the big crowds. And my dad said he's holding out for the Oscars. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, OK. Second year, second year, I was like, hey, guys, so do you want to go to the Emmys with me this year? And my mom was like, oh, no, no, it's fine, sweetheart, you go. And my dad's like, I'm holding out for the Oscars. <laughs> And I was like, Dad, these are like the Oscars of TV, right? Yeah, sure. But then third year, you know, the nomination happens. Mom and Dad, of course, are like one of the first phone calls you make. And I pick up the phone, I'm like, hey, guys. And I was so ready to be like, I'd really, really like it if you came to the Emmys with me this year. And before I even got that out, both of them were like, oh, we're going. We're going. <laughs> yeah. What changed? What, did, what happened? What changed, by the way? You. you, it's you, Jimmy. What, what are you, you doing? embarrassed us. Oh, I embarrassed you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so you're coming reluctantly. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, you know what? I think it's just, it's one of those things where, like, I mean, they, they birthed me. They've seen every stage well, performance. Well, one of them did, yeah. Yeah, mom did. The other one was busy <laughs> celebrating National Tater Tots Day that day. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, that'll be fun. How be are they with celebrities? Because at the Emmys, they'll be surrounded. Are they yeah. good? They're the coolest. Okay, I mean, any, anybody they've ever met that I've ever worked with, I mean, Pete and Carol are the, are the coolest, you know? Who's the most famous person you've introduced them to? Um, maybe like Sylvester Stallone? Sylve well, that's a pretty famous guy, yeah. Yeah. And that went well? That went well. It yeah. went, you didn't mind meeting him? It wasn't like, didn't uh, take but, time out of your uh, night? No. Yeah. <laughs> no, but also, but Sly, like, he was excited. You know, he says to me, like, hey, your parents, they, they, they come as well. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. I was like, oh, I'd love to meet him. <laughs> but that's just Sly. He, you know, and, and, and of course, you know, you know, he and my dad are about the same age and kind of came up in the same time of the world. And so he was, he was as excited to meet my folks as my folks were to meet him. And I was just off to the side watching. Your dad was in the military, yeah. correct? Mm -hmm. uh, fought in, in the war. Yeah, right? yeah. Yeah. And, and and Sylvester Stallone was Rambo, so that's close too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, and very similar to Vietnam. You era. go on USO tour sometimes, I right? I do, yeah, quite a few. When was the last time you were on a USO this tour? This past holiday, um, for Christmas, I went on a USO tour. Where'd I was you in, go? Uh, man, I was in Iraq Af on Christmas Day. I was in Afghanistan on Christmas Eve. I was traveling with a whole group of people. Uh, we were in Bahrain. We were on uh, the Stennis uh, in, in the Persian Gulf. And what do um, you do? Do you do a show while this, you're there? This one was actually a show. So my buddy Wilmer Valderrama was kind of an MC. Okay. And then we had, um, we had, you know, everybody kind of played their role. We had Jesse Mae Peluso doing comedy, and then we had Sean White 
And Matt Fraser, who was a CrossFit champion and, of course, you know, a four-time Olympian, mm -hmm. kind of giving up and doing inspirational stuff. And Kelly Pickler was singing. And then everybody looks at me. They're like, you're an actor. You going to act? Yeah, what are, well, yeah, what do you well, do? So yeah. I kind of embraced that and leaned into it. And I went, yes, I'm going to act. So I, uh, I got up on stage when it was my turn in front of, you know, the troops. And I said, you know, you, you, you folks are always so great about showing me what it is that you do. I thought it might be fun if one of you guys or gals saw what it is that I do. Is there anyone in the stage that wants to come up and perform a scene from This Is Us with me? OK. And so, you know, hands are getting thrown in the air. Guys and gals are running to the front of the stage, and they'd line up. And I kind of get the, the troops to vote on who they wanted. And I'd always get them to go for the biggest dude. OK. And I'd bring him up on stage. I'm like, hey, man, I'm Milo. Nice to meet you. Um, you're going to be playing Rebecca. <laughs> my wife, who's pregnant, it's my birthday, and she does a sexy dance for me. Oh. So I did the opening of This Is Us. All right, yeah, with the, the first truth. episode. Oh, yeah, it was great. I mean, I had a few Marines that were just going for it, high voice and dancing, and I'd take, you know, one of the BDUs, and I'd stuff it under there, and they'd be pregnant, and, you know, USO bandanas for, yeah. That's fun, right? That was great. It was Everybody blast. loves it. Everybody loved it. And then yeah. you make love, or how does it end? No. <laughs> Well, the water, the water breaks, and we were on the way to the hospital to burn the big three. So, yeah. All right, when we come back, we're going to see a clip from Milo's new movie. It's called The Art of Racing in the Rain. Milo Ventimiglia, we'll be right back. Even back then, I knew I was different than other dogs. My soul just felt more human. This one. <laughs> Definitely this one. The pick of the litter. She always said that. Well, just a minute now. We were thinking of keeping them. He always said that, too. Hey. That is Milo Ventimiglia and the Art of Racing in the Rain. It opens August 9th. The premiere is tonight here yeah. in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Will the dog be at the premiere? Yes. The dog will be there. Both of them. So oh. we. We Puppy had it. and yeah. Well, I don't think the puppies. The puppies oh. are all grown up by okay. this point. Gotcha. They're a year and eight weeks or something. So they're gone. They're, they're out. gone. They're yeah, they're right. you know they're applying to college. Not invited. <laughs> Not invited. Yeah. Um, but no, we had an older dog named Butler who played the nine-year-old, and we had a two-year-old named Parker who played the younger version. So they're both going to be there. Pretty much. This is a movie about dogs who drive cars. No. No. Uh, it's, it's about a guy who wears a leash. <laughs> um, no, so it's uh, the film's about a race car driver uh -huh. who has this dog. And the film takes place over the course of the dog's life, from puppy until he's old. And the film is narrated by the dog as he watches his owner, Denny, go through auto racing, meeting a woman, falling in love, having a family, the kind of it's ups and downs of life. It's a very famous book, right? It's yeah, a very yeah. popular book. Yeah. What are the challenges of working with a dog? Um, Besides the slobber and the obvious uh, and stuff. Obvious, yeah, yeah, yeah. gas stuff. You're talking about the gas stuff. <laughs> oh, oh, the dogs are gassy. Sometimes. Oh, interesting. Um, it's, uh, for me, when I was speaking to the trainers early on, I was like, hey, I need a scene partner. I know the dogs can get from point A to point B, but like, I need something that's going to interact with me. And like, there were a few moments of the movie where, I mean, I'm right there with the dog looking him in the eye, and he just, <laughs> Tongue goes off, he's out. And Simon Curtis, our director, comes over and is like, could, could we get the dog to still look at Milo? And our trainer, Teresa, came up. She goes, hey, Mike, come here a second. And she goes, were you looking the dog in the eye? And I go, yeah. She goes, you are his alpha. He won't challenge you. Oh. So look him in the center of the forehead, look him in the ear, but don't look him in the eye. So it's... There were little tricks with like and that, that worked and that worked. So I guess don't look someone in the eye. Yeah, don't look the dog in the eye if you want to do a scene. If, if you want to do a, a movie scene. with yeah. a dog. Yeah, I know. This is great advice for kids at home too. You know, <laughs> don't look the dog in the eye. Yeah. Um, did, did you become attached to the dog? Because I would imagine working with a dog yeah. for a long time and then you have to leave at the end. You might yeah. want to even like steal the dog from the set. I mean, that would be like dog napping. Yeah, well, sure, I guess yeah. that's illegal. I mean, you don't really practice that with, you know, family members. <laughs> like, you nope. play your wife. Like, I'm going to yeah. take Amanda Seyfried home now, guys. Yeah. So, um, yeah. <laughs> or like, yeah, the kids on This Is Us. Yeah. You have to send them home with you. Yeah, exactly. No, they have, they have wonderful families. <laughs> um, no, uh, Parker, the younger dog, he, this dog just had the most beautiful soul, and he was, had the, the best temperament. And I was, I was kind of asking about him. I'm like, so... 
Like, where's Parker live? Uh-huh. <laughs> Who's Parker live with? Does he? Oh, he. Oh, he lives with Deb. Okay. Uh, the trainer. One, one, of the tra- that... one of the trainers. And I'm uh, like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. But I was definitely fishing for if Parker had a home or needed a home because he and I, like, he was my guy. Well, maybe you'll get lucky and Parker will bite Deb at the premiere tonight or something like that. Yeah. And she'll be like, I don't want this dog anymore. No, I don't. I don't think that's gonna happen. So Kevin Costner plays the not voice but the conscience yes. of the dog. Yeah, of Enzo. And which is which is kind of cool. Well, Have you, you met you're... Kevin Costner? I've never met him. Oh, wow, so he's the voice of your dog. And he's the voice of my dog, but also, like, I've, I guess I've never heard the voice of the dog anyhow. So, so you might meet him tonight at the premiere. I'm hoping to. I what mean, I'm going to say, you can't say you're my dog, you know, that's <laughs> not going to go over. <laughs> uh, you know, I haven't gotten that far about what I'd said. I mean, is it too much just to be like, hey, man, I'm a huge fan? Because uh, I am. Yeah. That's not going to go over. You know him. Yeah, he, I do know him. Yeah, I think oh, he'll like that. Is yeah. there any dirt? You like know anything what? I could say, like. Read him as dogs like to be greeted. Just sniff, sniff him his around butt. the butt. Yeah. 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 Okay. But I wonder. Wag if, my tail. I don't know if you're aware of this, but Kevin was not the original choice, not the original actor uh, attached to this project. In fact, there was another very famous actor who was originally slated to play. Well, let's. I think we have a clip. This one. <laughs> Definitely this one. The pick of the litter. Check out the big brain on Brad. Well, just a minute now. We were thinking of keeping them. I don't remember asking you a thing. Hey. I'm still alive. Yeah. <laughs> they probably made no. It's new, yeah. My love and Amelia, everybody. The art of racing in the rain opens August 9th. We'll be back with Allison Bree. If you like that video, click subscribe and we'll be together until one of us dies.